hour of setting up here because for some reason or other the soundtrack didn't take off on the uh, so So here we've got downstairs uh, where I'm keeping all my shade plants. Uh, some a monstera because I don't have any shade upstairs up on the roof. Uh, I'm growing trees and hopefully we'll get some shade soon. Here's the Cissus Antarctica, which uh, is really quite pretty. Uh, and there's a monstera down here. Uh, and uh, here we've got ourselves a fillet, uh, an orchid that someone gave me. And here, what have we got? Dracaenas. Uh, here's a Dracaena warneki, which uh, should be doing quite nicely. And here's a Hoya, a Hoya carnosa. Uh, it has some beautiful flowers. Right now it's at the end of its flowering, so I doubt it's got much. Uh, oh, there's one actually, uh, what's left of one flower. But you can see it's actually quite pretty. They're pendulous uh, and uh, really quite nice. Good. We're still going. I, I, I recorded one already and it blew up. Uh, here is a Xanthosoma, Xanthosoma mafapa, which is doing quite nicely. It's taller than I am. And here's a philodendron that just kind of got loose and is doing incredibly well. So I'm not going to stop it. You can tell by my hand just how big it is. Uh, look at the trunk. It's got aerial roots and it's just, it's just going. I don't know where it's going to go. It's climbing up into the sun which is curious because philodendrons don't like sun. Here's a purple ivy which is doing quite nicely uh, and uh, here are some more philodendrons. I really really like philodendrons. You can see the kitchen back here. The fryer and uh, 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 more philodendrons. I really like philodendrons and we're still going. I've blown up yet. I blew up the last time. Uh, but lots and lots of philodendrons and eventually I'll be able to move them upstairs once I've got, maybe when I build a jacuzzi and a bathroom and uh, my bedroom, I'll have walls to make shade and I'll be able to shield them from the sun. So that'll be nice. Uh, let's see if we can get a quick look at the kitchen again. Uh, no, not much. Well, there's a hot plate, oh, hot plate, a griddle and then there's a Okay, well here's a philodendron, a, a, a miniature, which is really quite pretty. And then more philodendrons and more philodendrons. I like them. They're so lush and lovely and nice. And here's a wall I built to separate me from the idiot that sold me the building but won't sign the escrow. Uh, and here are some stairs that I built bringing us upstairs up into the rooftop garden. And we're still recording. That's good. And, uh, are we still recording? Yes. And uh, here we're confronted with a Saba. The police uh, uh, headed a project to replant uh, a burnt out forest and had tons and tons of plants. And at the end, they didn't use them all. So they came by with a truck and offered me whatever I wanted. So I took Sabas and all kinds of stuff. Here's a, uh, a, a eucalyptus, a dollar eucalyptus that she's doing quite well. And here a bunch of, uh, there are four uh, together, of the fiddle leaf figs, the uh, ficus liratas. And here are a bunch of um, citrus. Uh, I don't know what they are, lemons probably or something. I don't know, I don't remember. And here's some strawberries that are doing quite nicely. Uh, and are we doing? Yeah, we're still recording. Yeah, okay, good. And here is an asparagus. Plumosus, and here is uh, or are some more. Oh, another ficus virata, quite large one, uh, intertwining with a uh, uh, member of the Monstera family. It's called a uh, yaca uh, in Spanish. Has huge fruit, which are really quite delicious, uh, and it's uh, doing really quite nicely. It's in the ficus family also. Uh, and here is. Uh, Oh, here we've got uh, more ficus lirata, another ficus lirata doing quite nicely. And uh, next to it, oh, and underneath, oh, here's some habaneros, uh, which are doing quite well. Uh, and, uh, oh, here we're going to see some uh, 
uh, little succulents that I've been working really hard to bring along for like two or three years and finally it looks like they've caught on. How are we doing? Okay, we're still going. Uh, here we've got some ficus benjamina, uh, a ficus benjamina, one trunk, and on it is grafted two types of ficus benjamina, the regular green and the variegated variety, which is really quite fun. And here we've got some birds. Uh, yeah, you can see them, little lovebirds uh, going into their nest flops there. That's their house. They escaped once and I found them out into the garden. And at night I left the door open and at night they went right back in so I didn't lose them. Uh, here is a edible fig, uh, which is in the ficus family as well. Uh, so that should be quite nice. It's got some figs right now. And here are some fun flowers that year round these things are blooming. Just continue blooming and they're interspersed with some, uh, some uh, other flowering trees. Uh, got the name. Uh, here's some more of the Xanthosoma mafafa. Uh, and here's some more asparagus, asparagus sprengeri, out of which is growing a lovely palm. And um, some yucca. We had birds actually uh, nesting in my yucca this year. That was really quite fun. Good, we're still recording. And here's some Dracaena, and here's that tree you told me about that was incredibly, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, full of uh, nutri nutritious <laughs> and whatnot, uh, I don't remember the name of it, uh, but here it is, it's doing quite nicely. I bought it quite small, but it grows quite fast. Um, and here we've got a... Uh, some other tree, uh, Jacaranda, that's doing quite nicely. Uh, and here's some more flowering uh, that uh, year round they flower bright yellow like this, so they're quite fun. And uh, some more philodendrons. And uh, here we've got some more asparagus. This one, Asparagus retrofractus, which is doing quite nicely. I really like these ones, especially. And here, which looks like a giant bird of paradise, but will actually get much bigger than a giant bird of paradise. Uh, in the same family is a Ravenella madagascariense, or a traveler's tree, which is actually in flower. And you can see here by uh, my hand, which I will put up there, yes, uh, the, uh, just how big that flower is. It's huge. Well, it's got big flowers. How are we doing for... Okay, we're still recording. Here we've got some uh, crotons, and uh, here is a big uh, saba with thorns, huge thorns, growing out of the croton. Uh, and here we've got a uh, pistachio, which is doing really quite well, pistachio tree. And uh, behind it, some night blooming jasmine, which 10 o'clock at night when it's blooming is just quite like a very strong odor, very, very strong odor. Uh, permeates the whole neighborhood. Uh, and here are <coughs> uh, some, um, blah, 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 what do you call it, uh, lemongrass. Uh, and uh, uh, yeah, lots of lemongrass. And there's a magnolia back there that has been really having a hard time, but it seems to be getting on finally this year. So maybe it'll survive. Here are some bananas. And we actually have right here, you can see bananas in the bananas uh, in this particular one. And uh, here next door where my pointer is, is a banana flower and some more bananas right here. Uh, so we'll have bananas out of the banana trees. And here we've got, oh, just a whole bunch of fun things. It's uh, a uh, curly-leafed uh, Aurelia and here what I'm holding is uh, they call it pata de vaca or a um, orchid tree and it's just incredible when it blooms it looks like orchids and it has a really strong uh, uh, flavor. Here's a poinsettia or a noche buena they call it in Spanish uh, which is in the uh, what do you call it uh, euphorbia family 
And here is the Chinese fruit. What do they call them? Uh, oh, I can't remember the name. The bright red uh, in kind of a kind of a prickly uh, case, and you open them up, and there are the fruits. And there's a, there's a what do you call it? And this is jasmine next to it. I was showing you here, jasmine flowers. Uh, and this is a willow, which has just gotten sunburned, but now that the sun, the rainy season is here, hopefully it'll come back. And here is another euphorbia, like the poinsettia. And I really particularly like this one because of its uh, beautiful leaves. It has great big lush leaves. And its trunk is almost spiny. It has nubs on the trunk. And it's almost spiny. So, uh, uh, Euphorbia is doing quite well, quite, quite happy here. Uh, and uh, more asparagus retrofractus, and actually one that you can see is in stock, brand new, coming up, getting ready to open up. Uh, that's quite nice. Uh, and then we've got here uh, ginger, lots and lots and lots of ginger ornamental ginger and out of which is growing a uh, palma triangularis which is a very very slow grower this is a nice large one they're quite valuable quite lovely and more jacaranda i hope this one will bloom red the other one the big one is purple and here just out of the blue came a sunflower it just happened and I decided to let it. We see, I feed the birds sunflower seeds, and occasionally sunflowers just kind of crop up. So I just kind of let it be because it's kind of fun. And here is a plant uh, that I salvaged from. It was dying in a, in a nursery. It's quite distressed, and it's finally coming back. So this will be quite nice. A papaya. I'll be really pleased. Uh, it's doing really, really quite well. Finally, uh, it was touch and go for quite a while there, but. Looks like it's going to make it. And here in a shoe, I've got a vanilla orchid, which I'm quite delighted. It was really hard to find. I don't know why. They're not rare, but they're really hard to find. Uh, vanilla orchids. And it's growing, so that'll be quite nice if it gets loose and quite fragrant if it gets loose in flowers. And here's another orchid, like the big one downstairs that someone gave me. And this one I've been picking off uh, babies and putting them in this shoe. And it's getting ready to bloom, you can see. Uh, and here we're torturing a Diffenbachia out in the sun. Uh, they're not sun plants, but this one is learning to deal with it. <laughs> Poor thing. It even had flower. <laughs> <clears throat> and uh, here we've got mother-in-law tongue or sansevieria and out of which is growing a palm a baby palm and here's its mother uh, it was quite distressed uh, had a really rough trip getting here uh, and but it's coming back so that's quite nice and this tree back here in the background it's quite fun because it comes out as a more more uh, different boxes that we're torturing but above the tree it blooms in bright yellow blooms uh, in the morning by afternoon and next morning they're orange and by the second night uh, they're deep red so the flowers actually turn color quite fun some more yucca over here uh, doing quite well and uh, finally we've got some citronella which everyone says keeps uh, mosquitoes away it's a myth it's not true uh, and here we've got some aurelias doing really quite nicely i love these aurelias and uh under them is a baby uh cinnamon tree it's doing quite nicely i'm really pleased with it and here we've got a uh, Juvia de Oro, a uh, rain of gold. When it blooms, it's spectacular. It's just huge uh, sprays of flower come out of it. It's really quite nice. And finally, we're back to the uh, yucca and the, the yaca. The yaca, the big fruit, and the, uh, uh, the, the liratas. So, as you can see, the roof is... Uh, just bright wide open as we walk around uh, uh, just unimpaired views here's a guinea pig that's kind of wondering what we're doing and not particularly distressed by our being here and there's another one says, oh, what do you want <laughs> so 
that's the garden and I hope you've enjoyed it uh, I'll upload it and we'll be able to see it uh, lychee that's the name of the Chinese fruit that I was trying to remember lychees uh, so I'm going to 